So today, I want to show you one of the first videos and compilations I did back in 2020, the year I did my first professional job. Well, here we're standing in a beautiful winter landscape. The snow came about three days ago and uh, now we have about 30 centimeters of powder. Beautiful. Should have been on the mountains skiing or snowboarding, but it's almost Christmas, so we have to make our preparations. Well, you probably remember your first professional video or a photo job. So do I. It was a magical moment. But before that, you probably have been interested in uh, video making and photography for a long time. Maybe all the way back since you were a kid or went to junior high school when you started picking up your camera and making, uh, I don't know, skateboard videos or videos of your friends or just taking photos. For me, that was back when uh, we used film in the photo camera and uh, DV tapes in uh, the video camera. So it's quite a lot of years since I did that now. And uh, do you remember how fun that was starting in the technology, making videos and showing it on your CRT screen, the old big old fat televisions. Everything was new and uh, the technology back then was also evolving, but not as fast as it have, has been the last 10 years, I guess. I got my first professional video and photo job the year I turned 40. So before that, I have been dreaming of this for maybe 15 to 20 years. But back in the days when I was a kid in the 90s, this was not considered a professional way to go. And uh, it was not considered a serious profession either. So the expectations then was to get another decent job. But the hobby never died, like it has uh, not done for many of us. And um, YouTube and the new camera technologies have uh, brought us new possibilities. It's only a couple of years ago, or uh, actually almost three years ago, I got my first Sony A7 III uh, 4K video camera which uh, was possible to use for professional work. Oh, the years goes by so fast. It's three years. I, I turned 43 this January next year and um, I got my first professional paid video and photo job the same year I turned 40 that fall. And before that, I was hustling to get the best or most out of, out of the camera, making uh, videos for myself. And uh, that actually was shown to my first customer who used that for reference for me to do some work for them. And actually, I am still working for them today and those have been a very worthy and trusty client for me all the way up till now and I hope we will have a relation in many years to come. So as my day job I was work as a structural engineer and uh, this video and photo thing is uh, a side hustle for me. I have a family and uh, other uh, commitments to fulfill so I haven't made the leap and uh, I work as an engineer because I like it and it fulfills the work life so but now I have been working professionally on the side with this video and photo job for uh, two and a half years almost 
and there is nothing more fulfilling than making videos and photos for clients uh, which makes them very happy and, uh, and has great value for them in their commercial side. Every job contains uh, a bit of variety in making photos for websites or Instagram and stuff and uh, also video in the same uh, locations so it makes the whole job very varied you get to edit you get to take photos on location you get to make video <coughs> on location and you get the get to to use uh, a very diverse uh, amount of equipment which makes the whole thing very interesting it, and it never gets boring. So, but since you're working for a client, you have to satisfy them and their needs and what they want to promote their businesses. And probably that's not almost <clears throat> what you want to do yourself. Maybe it's quite not the style you want to do yourself, or maybe it's not the cuts you want to do yourself. So this, this is a different side of video and photo making uh, from a um, different side than doing it for yourself privately. So as every content maker says, uh, you really have to do something for yourself and private to boost your self-confidence in this subject, but also uh, trying out new stuff. So that's uh, actually the only reason I have a YouTube channel and bother to get in front of the camera myself. It's to stress myself into these situations so I can learn from them and use my experiences from my own video making in the client's work. And what also has come to my mind these two and a half years doing videos and photos for, uh, for uh, clients is that many of us think that taking photos and making simple videos is something everyone can do in a very short time and uh, yes you can but I have gained great respect for this as a profession and, <clears throat> and there is so many aspects to this that this could be like any other kind of job I went five years to school to, be, to become a structural engineer. I guess you could go five years to school to become a professional photographer also. So great respect to all those people who have the professional papers. But what you probably don't know is that all of us who makes content in photo and video and other genres as well, we have been studying this subject for a numerous time of hours, in the nights, in the weekends, on our phones, in breaks, all day, all year. And that's hours we have put into this that you probably don't see but that's the experience we use to make videos and photography for professional clients. And when you're working professionally, it's not always easy to get enough time to make your own stuff. Your own stuff which no one judge you by, which you can uh, cut and edit like you want, test color grading, test audio, video and uh, lighting. Mm -hmm. 
So it's quite important to remind yourself that you have to do this constant learning like you do in every, every job. So today I want to show you one of the first videos and compilations I did back in 2020, the year I did my first professional job. This has a Norwegian voiceover, but just look at the images and uh, see if you get some of the emotions I did when I made it. Enjoy! Året startet som vanlig. Jeg blev 40. Det var for så vidt ganske uvanlig. Men så blev det mer uvanlig. Corona kom. Vi måtte være mye hjemme. Jeg liker meg hjemme. Vi fant på mye gøy. Men tida gikk. Sommeren kom, og vi skulle på drømmeferien. Vi dro, men så skjedde det. Det ble helt svart. Høsten kom, og det ble mørkt. Året var langt, fullt av minner. Høsten kom, og det ble mørkt. 